Just like people, our canine companions can have seasonal and dietary allergies too, and some of them might surprise you. Stick around and find out what allergies you need to be aware of when it comes to the gorgeous German Shepherd. Welcome back to the Fenrir German Shepherd Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the German Shepherd and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect German Shepherd. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future German Shepherd video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll find out the most common allergies for this gorgeous breed. The most common dietary allergies are beef, dairy, wheat, egg, chicken, lamb, soy, pork, rabbit and fish and most dogs are usually allergic to more than one thing. The most common environmental allergies are pollen, harsh cleaning chemicals and detergents and dust. It can be hard to determine which of all of these common things or combination of them is the cause of your canine's discomfort. So enlisting your vet early on can help make the process easier. There are some tests that can be done to identify some triggers but not all of them. German Shepherds don't tend to have many common allergies as a breed but every individual is different and allergies are largely dependent on genetics and exposure. You may find that your German Shepherd is sensitive to an ingredient in their food that they've been on for years or have hives after laying on freshly washed bedding. You'll need to look for the sign of the allergic reactions at all times, just like you would with yourself, though the symptoms are different in canines. Canines will typically have a dietary or environmental allergy reaction in the form of throwing up loose stools, excessive licking, scratching and chewing all over and licking their paws. When you notice these behaviours in access, note what your dog ate or did in the hours leading up to the symptoms. Remove any possible triggers after several days without another episode. Start adding potential triggers in one at a time and keep a close eye on them. It's always best to consult with a vet before starting this process, especially if they're already on medication of any kind or have any other known medical issues. Now a lot of people can be sceptical when you bring up allergies in dogs and they like to say things like wolves and homeless dogs don't have allergies and when I grew up our dogs never had allergies. Well neither of these statements is quite true. Wild canines certainly have allergies but they aren't as predisposed to food allergies since they rarely eat the same thing every day. Hey guys sorry to interrupt the video I wanted just to quickly let you know if you're interested in watching more videos about me actually working with dogs following the cases of the behavior modification programs and the different training programs that I implement as well as me training and raising my own dogs then we've got a dedicated channel to that exact thing it's called Fenrir Canine Training there's tons of videos on there and there's multiple new videos of me working with dogs and some of our Fenrir certified trainers working with dogs to give you incredible levels of value and to help you have perfect canine companions just like these guys here. So there'll be a link in the description box below. I can't wait to see you over on that channel. There's more research proving that eating the same commercially processed food every day can lead to food allergies from overexposure just like it can in people. As far as the dogs of our grandparents generations they simply don't know what to look for and the signs of allergies in canines as we do today. Until recently the attitude was that the dogs are always scratching something, licking their paws and who knows what they got into to give them loose stool. We know better now. We know that scratching all over all the time, licking their paws and any change in their stool is a signal that something they ate or touched doesn't agree with them. Some dogs are more prone to allergies than others though. It can be a genetic factor or a repeated exposure or just general sensitivity. Some breeders may end up with several litters before they're aware that their line is predisposed to particular allergies. Some canines with short, thin coats can be more reactive to things like harsh detergents used on their bedding. Like thick-coated dogs can get pollen trapped against their skin. This is why enlisting your vet can be helpful since they have more experience narrowing down allergy triggers. If you think your canine companion might be allergic to something in their diet or environment, consult with your vet to determine the best way to figure out what they're allergic to. The most common methods are elimination diets and testing for certain triggers like you would in a person. If 
you purchased your canine from a breeder, ask them if they've had other dogs with allergies as a place to start. It could be as simple as an over-the-counter supplement a few months a year or avoiding foods with chicken products. It could be more complicated and require a rotation of several diets or prescription allergy pills all year round. Just like us, our canine companions can develop allergies to food and environmental factors that they previously had no issues with, or they may have mild symptoms for most of their lives that went unnoticed. Consult with your vet on the best way to figure out what they're allergic to and how to get them feeling better through the process. You'll have few allergy problems with your German Shepherd, but should you notice any signs of an allergy, you'll have a better handle on what to do to help your canine friend get back to feeling their best. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated German Shepherd videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the German Shepherd Show.